right, folks. So got the i7 14700K installed. We've got it set up. And we previously had Windows on here. I haven't used this computer in a while, so who knows how it's going to act. Um, let us go to system. Well, I guess we're in system information. It's just a little bit bigger than we would probably would like, but considering I'm using a camera to record this, maybe it's not so bad. All right, so there you see i7 14700KF. 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM in here. Looks like it's probably running at 4800 megahertz. So we don't have, uh, we did a BIOS update recently. So we did not, <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have the uh, BIOS, the, excuse me, the uh, RAM overclocked. So, not a huge deal. There's the motherboard C90 Aris Ultra. We've got RTX 3060 installed. Windows 11. And over here you can see the temps. Core voltage. Package TDP. Core TDP. Alright. So, we're just going to do an initial benchmark. This CPU cooler may not uh, be adequate for this. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see how well it handles this. Now let me reset everything. A lot of times I'll do this with uh, Hardware Info 64. And at least for this first round, I'm not going to. Um, so you can see it shot so far right up to 80, 83. It's... Uh, Running a bit hot, folks. There's the score. So that's that's a pretty good score um, in here. Not that, you know, people really use Intel's extreme tuning utility benchmark, but uh, 85. So it's going to most likely thermal throttle uh, when we hit um, Cinebench R23. Maybe it'll do it on R20. Oh, what did I want you guys to see? I don't want the overclock thing. Was it under there? Oh, that's advanced tuning. Um, I wanted you guys to see power limits. And maybe that's under... I haven't done this in so long. So we'll probably come in here at some point, <laughs> screw with uh, a couple things in here. Okay, PL2 is maxed out. Let's see. PL1 is not. Um, default 175. So... These were uh, left at whatever they were before. So we could set this back to 241. And that's probably what we need to do um, before we start screwing with boosting this. Oops. Alright, so there's that. And then the other one. 175. So these are the defaults here. Uh, so it should run a little cooler. So let's do that again. Now, one thing we might get, um, and it's hard to see in here, is power limit throttling. That's a possibility now. All right. So, run it again. 
power limit throttling, boom. So we'd have to go in and screw around with uh, the power limits basically to get that to not do that. Um, score's about the same, right? And temperature though was, was lighter. So we'll just, uh, I guess, deal with power limit throttling for now. Another video. When I use the capture card, we'll, uh, we will resolve that problem. All right, so R20 is on here. Let's, uh, let's see how this thing does. Temperature's back down. And I think our fan is programmed for uh, either quiet or uh, whatever it is, normal. All right, so does this have, this has the old i7 13700K on it, folks. We had a score of 11620. That was the best uh, CPU that I used on here. None of these other ones are um, actuals of mine. And I'm assuming that was my i7 13700K. Because all this other stuff's old crap, right? Alright, so let's uh, just make sure. Hopefully this isn't going to give us 10 minutes of iterations. All right, so power limit throttling, it's getting a wee bit warmer. Um, wow, is it done already? That was a fast Cinebench R20, holy cow. So, what do we get up to? 82. And look at that, 241 watts. So, exactly what the thing's set to, right? Um, this is, you know, air cooler. Hey. So, you can see a significant increase in the score there. If you guys are able to even see it. Um. Hopefully, the recording is better than uh, what it looks like on the screen. Move the secondary camera up a little bit. So this obviously looks like it's at an angle. Um, so 12,274. Of course, if we were to adjust power limits and we had a better cooler... We will increase that score. Oh, eventually we'll do that. But there you go. There's my first R20 score. And I need to eventually update my file that I've been tracking my scores. All right. So we did R20. And We'll do R23. I do not have R24 on here, it would appear. So 28,112 is the high with the i7 13700K. Uh, this is really actually working out pretty good. That is probably the last CPU that was in this motherboard. Um, I did end up selling it. And that's only because I had all these i9s, right? So it's kind of pointless to have all these i9s. Um, I wonder if that will even show up. I never actually ever type in there. All right, so we'll do multi-core. Uh, we will clean this out. And hopefully in the future, folks, we'll get the capture card going and we'll get better better video. All right, so multi-core is going. And 
and one of our cameras just pooped out. Right, out room. All right, so this is a Cinebench R23. You can see power limit throttling going on. We could fine tune that. What's our temp? Our temp got up to only 78. That's hard to believe. So what do we have for a score, folks? 32,069. Wow. Um, that's interesting. That, I think, beats... What does that beat, folks? I don't think that beats my i9. It doesn't beat my i9-13900KF because it was up at the... 40,000 point mark, but it does beat all of my 12th gen i9s. The i9 12900KF and the KS. What does that asterisk stand for? I can't can't get down far enough to see. Dang it. Um, Alright, so let's do let's clear this out. So we can get that high that score higher, obviously, with an overclock. We can get it higher with power limits, adjusting those. Um, and then, of course, having a better CPU cooler would help us get there. All right, so we're doing single core. Now, this one takes forever, usually. So we should see much lower temps. Power limit throttling won't be a problem. Um, what will be a problem is our patience. How long do we want to watch for, right? Well, we need the score, so I guess we're gonna we're stuck. Yeah, so I really, you know, I'm surprised I did not buy the i9 1400 KF, but. It just doesn't seem like it's uh, worth worth the money at the moment. This CPU, you know, it seems like a bargain if it really, gaming-wise, will hang with the i9-13900KF because that's the best CPU I got. But uh, maybe we'll, uh, maybe it's time for me to dump one of my 12th Gen i9s. I got rid of the i313-100. Um, we need to get rid of a couple others probably. And potentially I need to get the i5-14-600KF.
All right, so I think it's finally done. At least let's hope it is. That took forever. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I saw that big dip. It's still going, isn't it? Yeah, it is not done yet. Um. Yeah, not sure why we don't have uh, 2024 installed. This could be the end. We're, I'm seeing a lot of stuff dropping. Let's go ahead and flip over again. There you go. All right. That is the new high on here. Um, 2,124. Which most of these shown are... Or a lot of these are laptops. Um, I think at least one of them we had. Thread rippers, things like that. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, MP ratio 15.10. Thanks for checking out this video, folks. Uh, the rest of the videos, I will hopefully use Capture Card or we'll get some gaming going. Thanks for checking it out. Please like, please subscribe.